The liver and its health is almost synonymous with alcohol, but alcohol isn't its biggest foe. Doctors Karen Kroc and Niraj Ghassani of Penn State Hershey's Liver Center joins us to expound on liver health before a web chat right after our show today online. So we are talking about liver, liver health mm -hmm. today. What can you tell us about liver health? Well, the liver is the largest organ in the body. It sits on the right side of your body here, protected by the ribs. And what it's responsible for is removing toxins that, are, that our body makes and also making proteins that are needed to help our blood clot and to help our body function. I was so surprised to hear that it was the largest organ of yes. the body. I mean, I didn't, you don't hear that much about the liver unless there's a problem, I guess, of course. What are some of the more common causes of liver disease? And then how does somebody know if that's something they should be sure. concerned about? So most people think of alcohol as being the number one cause exactly. of liver disease, but it actually is not. The two most common causes of liver disease in the United States are hepatitis C and fatty liver disease. And actually, if you were born between 1945 and 1965, there's a one in 33 chance that you have hepatitis C. Mm. And you may not even know that you have it. You actually should be asking your primary care doctor to do a one-time test to look for hepatitis C. Interesting. Fatty liver disease, though, will soon surpass um, hepatitis C as the number one cause because Americans are gaining more weight, there's more diabetes, more high blood pressure, and more high cholesterol. Gosh, and Dr. Gosani, you say when treating this, a team approach is really important. Why a team approach? Absolutely, Amy. Uh, we created the Penn State Hershey Liver Center because of the complexity of some of these diseases. Uh, we get all of the doctors in the same room, so uh, hepatologists or medical doctors who treat liver, like Dr. Kroc, surgeons like myself and transplant surgeons who help uh, deal with some of these problems. We get special radiologists, uh, medical oncologists, radiation doctors, nurses, and palliative care specialists. We all sit together once a week and discuss all of these cases so we can uh, come up with the best plan for each patient. Every patient is different and so the treatment plan has to be tailored to their need. And talk about the different options then for treatment. Yeah, so thankfully in 2015 we have a lot of different treatment options for liver uh, diseases and liver cancers in particular. It's important to, to know that there are different types of liver cancer. So the most common cancer in the United States that goes to the liver is actually spread from somewhere else and the most common of those is colorectal cancer. 40% of patients with colorectal cancer will actually have spread to the liver. Uh, and it's important that we uh, have a lot of different options for that. The other type of liver cancer is a primary liver cancer which starts in the liver itself and that is caused by things like hepatitis, uh, fatty liver disease, and alcoholism. And you hear a lot about liver transplants. That mm -hmm. seems like such a big step. Uh, what goes on with that? Well actually it may sound like a big step but we've been doing liver transplants since 1963. It was sort of experimental until the 1980s and there are now over 70,000 Americans living in the United States alive after a liver transplant. Terrific. And what we can do is, here's a model of our liver. This here is a normal liver, nice and smooth. And a liver that has cirrhosis in it, whether it's from hepatitis C or alcohol or, or fatty liver disease, will start looking lumpy bumpy like you see on either side. And what a liver transplant does is it takes out the entire liver, all the pieces of the lumpy, bumpy mm -hmm. liver, and puts in a new liver so it's nice and smooth. It's amazing what the body can do. Yes. And what you and guys what the can surgeons do. Can yes, do. Yes. what you all can do with the body. Thank you so much for being part of our show today. Just a reminder, both doctors here are going to be part of a web chat. That's at abc27.com slash chat. That starts at 1 o'clock, so just a little, little while. So we've got to get them out of here and get ready for the web chat. Thank you both for being Thank part of much. the show today. Thank